Hey guys, so today we have another bag of empties for you. So if you'd like to see what I have completely used up and find out if I would repurchase or not, then just keep watching. So in every empties video, I always have some makeup wipes. So let me pull those out first. First up, we have the Neutrogena Skin Balancing Micellar Cleansing Cloths. These were fine, uh, nothing to write home about, so I can't say I'd recommend these over their regular blue ones. The Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. I've had these in my travel makeup bag for years, <laughs> and I finally just used them up. I didn't use them consistently enough to notice any difference in my skin, so they were fine for a travel pouch of 10. The Pixi Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloth. These were rose scented. I am not a fan of rose scented products for the most part, other than the fragrance that I've been obsessed with lately by Kirin. Um, so I would have to say hard pass on this one just because it's a very strong rose scent. The Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Micellar Cleansing Cloths. My daughter actually ran through these and these did help to clear her skin. She's entering puberty and was getting a lot of acne on her skin. And I did notice them clearing up with her using these every day. So I would say that these do work really well if you suffer, suffer from acne prone skin. And then finally, the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes. These remove makeup really well. I got them on clearance at TJ Maxx for $2. So for $2, I'd recommend. Um, I feel like they work just as well as the regular Neutrogena ones. So they were nice and definitely gentle. But a sulfate free conditioner and shampoo from Pantene. I ran through both of these. It doesn't usually happen that I run through both of them at the same time, but I did. It says in intensely strengthens for resilient hair, which is what I need. It says it enhances smoothness. I do feel like the products from Pantene do seem to make a difference in my hair. I like both of these. I also like Pantene's mist line, like mist behaving spray. They have another like gloss spray. I really do seem to, my hair re reacts really well to the Pantene products. So I would recommend these. I'm not going to repurchase because I'm currently going through their, I think they're called the Brond line, like brown blonde, which is kind of my color. It's like light brown on the bottom and then blonde near the tips. So I will let you know what I think of that one shortly, but would recommend these. Some toothpastes. The first one is the Sensodyne Extra Whitening Tube. I really like this one. Um, I also tried the Crest Review White Stain Eraser one, and I don't feel like this one did much. So of the two, I would recommend this one over this. I feel like there was more whitening, more, um, like enamel protection. I'm currently trying a Colgate enamel whitening product. So I'll let you know if that one works, but of these two, I would recommend this one. I would repurchase this one. I wouldn't repurchase this one. Another shampoo empty. I just wanted to talk about the packaging of this one. This is the Sachawan Ocean Mist Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. I love the packaging of these little travel shampoos because you don't have to worry about tearing off the top when you're in the shower, you simply fold them down and the product dispenses out of the bottom of this little cardboard container. It is genius. I don't know why people didn't think of this earlier. Like the shampoo is all in here and then when you're ready to use it, you snap it and it all comes out of the crease on the bottom. Genius packaging. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. Really, really smart packaging. Body scrub that I ran through, and this is a this is a big guy. <laughs> this is the Derma Doctor KP Duty Dermatologist Formulated Body Scrub with Chemical and Physical Exfoliation. If you ever suffer from like those little bumps on the back of your arm, I'd highly recommend this. They also have one in like a squeezy tube as well. Um, I find the squeezy tube easier to use in the shower than opening this, dipping it out, putting the lid back on with slippery wet hands. But it really does work if you suffer from like little tiny bumps, not acne, but like little tiny bumps on your arms or legs. This definitely fixes it. Um, so I would highly recommend this and I have repurchased several backups. Pixie was kind enough to send this over to me. It was a personalized glow tonic and I've gone through an entire one of this. Plus I've refilled it probably halfway with smaller bottles. So I would recommend tonic just kind of gets rid of a dead layer of skin on your face. It really helps to prep your face for makeup or skincare or anything. So I do this at night before I put my night serums on or my retinol treatments treatments. So I would highly recommend, and I have repurchased this multiple times over. 
This product is not empty, but I'm just not a big fan. It's the Derma E Skin Distress Calming CBD Serum. I like their collagen and peptide serum. It's one of my favorites. This one, it was a smell issue. It smells like dirt and I just, I didn't enjoy using it when I have so many other serums to try. I just couldn't justify continuing to use this one. It's not a bad product. I didn't have any bad reaction or anything. It says 500 milligrams of CBD. I just didn't like the scent. However, a product that I would recommend and would repurchase, this is the Amore Pacific Intensive Vitalizing Eye Essence. Now there's a certain routine that you're supposed to use in your skincare products. I have an entire video dedicated to that, but the essence is one of like the first steps and I love this. It has a click up, it has a roller ball, so it's cold and soothing on the under eye area. It's pricey, but I would recommend this. And I would repurchase. Is this one I didn't like the scent? Yeah. Another Derma E product, unfortunately, that I wouldn't recommend. This one is the Derma E Calm Skin Beneficial Mist Mood Enhancing. It has uh, Amla Go-To Herbal Waters, Coconut Essence, and Witch Hazel. Again, it was a scent issue for me. I like Derma E products. I use them in my daily routine, but it was a scent thing. I just didn't enjoy this one, and I didn't find it calming. I think they have like a lavender one, and I do like that one. Speaking of lavender, this is the Ulta Beauty Daily Dedication Facial Spray infused with lavender flower water, red algae extract, and ginseng extract. I sprayed this on my face before bed at night just because it has lavender in it. It's supposed to be calming. I didn't notice any change in my skin, but I enjoyed the fragrance before bed. So I would recommend, but I'm not going to be repurchasing because I have several other sprays like this to use up. A loose powder I've gone completely through, doesn't happen much, is the Milk Makeup uh translucent light powder i thought this was called like oh blur and set the blur and set powder i love this one and i have repurchased a backup i already have it out on my desk to use i i don't know this is one of my favorite loose powders and i found it at tj maxx or marshall's one time so i got it <laughs> i just really like this one i do think that it blurs and sets without looking heavy it doesn't age my skin which i appreciate in my Mm, late 30s ish um so i would highly recommend this and i would repurchase another peptide product that i really enjoyed this is the good molecules super peptide serum i ran through this i have a few other good molecules products that i'm still working my way through but this one i really enjoyed it soaked in really quickly um it says it's to target fine lines wrinkles and dullness I feel like my skin felt healthy and looked great while using it and it's pretty affordable so i would recommend this one so burt's bees nourishing facial water intense hydration i used this after cleansing my skin at night no adverse reactions but i can't say that i noticed anything drastic so i wouldn't recommend and wouldn't repurchase it just wasn't something that i felt like i needed in my routine a few brow products that i've run through the first one being the essence micro brow pencil in the shade light brown it's a super skinny tip you just twist to bring it up this is the shade there was just like a little bit left and it was like the perfect shade for me it was small enough to draw in brow hairs and to kind of fill everything in so i really like that one i also went through an entire thing of covergirl easy breezy brow gel in the shade light pale this one has a smaller wand which is really nice for getting into these like shorter hair sections of the brows. So I really liked that one. So would I recommend both of these? Yes. Would I repurchase them? I probably would, but I still have a bin of brow products to go through and it takes me a little while to use them up. So would recommend, would repurchase. I just don't plan to do it right now until I finish up everything else that I have. Some eyeliners, the first one being the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Classic Tip Liquid Liner in Beguiling Brown. I love felt tip liners, so I would repurchase this one. I thought it was really nice, but like I said, I still have a whole bunch of liners back here. Where are they now? Ah, they're out there. I still have a whole bunch of liners right there to use up, so I won't be purchasing it. And the other one is an e.l.f. liner, and the writing has completely worn off, but it's in the shade Plum. It's one of these like brush liners. This one just completely dried out. It's all crusty. I loved the shade. It was like a metallic deep plum, beautiful color, really affordable. But like I said, I have so many liners in this container back here, so I don't need to purchase any more right now. Another eye product I've run through, this is the Lumify 
Um, this is the one that like makes your eyes brighter and whiter. And I only use it when my eyes are having a bad reaction to something that I've tried. So it's not often. It does expire fairly quickly, but I feel like most eye drops do. And I would recommend this one if you suffer from like really red eyes or if a product gets in your eyes and then really irritates it, this does take the red away and brighten the eyes. So I would recommend this and I would repurchase. Another hair product that I've run through is the L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfate Free Smoothing System. This one I feel like expired um, and that's why I threw it out. I don't know how old this is, but when I went to open it, it ran out like water and smelled like Honestly, it smelled like urine or like, I don't know, some sort of cleaner. So I squeezed it out and will not be repurchasing this, repurchasing this. I don't know if I got a bad batch or if it was expired, but I would not recommend this one. Another hair product is this It's a 10 Miracle Moisture Shampoo. Didn't notice any significant difference with this one, so wouldn't recommend that one. And then a concealer I've run through completely. This is the Essence Camouflage Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore. I'm in the shade Light Ivory. Would recommend. I feel like this has really nice coverage, really nice staying powder, staying powder, staying power, and it's really affordable. So highly recommend and would repurchase. And that's it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed these little mini reviews and hearing if I would repurchase these or not. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.